Hey, so this is my first ever YouTube video um, and it's going to be an unboxing for Zoo Plus. So I'm collecting my hamster in two days, which I'm really excited about, and I did an order of some of the essentials that I'll need. So I ordered about five days ago, so it came really quickly. Um, it came yesterday and my cage uh, came the day before, so that's really exciting. So the first one is a wicker tunnel, which is so cute. So I'm going to have a few different tunnels um, in the cage and I'm kind of going for a German kind of natural cage vibe. Um, so I'm going to have not too much plastic and more wood. Um, so that's the first one. It's really cute how it's all over woven in. That's really cute. And next, oh my gosh, I think this is my favourite um, thing that I bought from the order. So, I'm not actually sure what this is made from. Let's have a look. It says it's large, so it must be the biggest piece. Um, this was actually on sale as well at Zoo Plus. So, I think a lot of the stuff that I got had a few pounds off, uh, which was really good. And I'll link all the stuff that I got down below. Uh, this is just such a piece beautiful piece of wood I guess every um every piece that is ordered is different so um you don't get one exactly like this but they're all unique and really cool so I think this will all look so lovely in the cage and make it just look really natural and beautiful look at that it's such so beautiful wow oh it's grapevine yeah I'll put that there so the next thing I ordered is a nice herb mix, which is really cute. Let's have a look at this. So yeah, um, in terms of the hamster diet, I found it a little bit hard to kind of get everything they need, enough protein, everything like that, um, as well as variety. So I got a herb mix because this is really good, I think, for scattering over the cage. So they... Um, the hamster kind of has to work for their food like they would in the wild um so this looks really really nice let's have a look at what's in it um it has lots of different herbs like marigold red clover it has so many different things in it um it's actually really nice to provide some variety um so that'll be nice and the next thing i got is this hamster food. Um, so yeah, I've also bought some pellets, which are good for hamsters. Um, and that has kind of a high protein. This has a bit less protein, but again, it will provide um, a lot of variety. Um, and when you actually look at the picture, it just looks really, really nice and really appetizing for the hamsters. So I thought I'd give this a go. Um, I'll see whether my hamster likes it or not. Um, this is actually the first hamster I've had since I was about eight years old. Um, so I'm kind of really new to this and I'm just kind of giving it a go. Um, so if you have any suggestions or anything, please let me know. Um, this is obviously just me having a go at it. So, um, I say definitely do your research. Um, if you're good, if you're thinking of getting a hamster, um, so yeah, it just looks really nice food. It has like mealworms in it and lots of different things that's good for them. Um, so hopefully she'll like it. Oh, here's another piece of wood. Wow. So this is a different piece of wood. It's cork tunnel. Um, so it's be so nice for the hamsters to go through. Um, this is really beautiful as well. I think it's just so nice to have lots of variety of wood. Um, in it as I mean as well as the different materials you use obviously um you sometimes have to use plastic for things which is absolutely fine um, it's just kind of nice to have a bit of variety and the patterns on this are so beautiful like here with the green I'm not sure what that is but it's so beautiful um and even inside it looks so nice so I really like this um, they're quite nice big sizes as well um so i mean even your hamster could kind of make a little burrow inside and put some bedding in there um and they get this as the medium size as well so yeah i'm really happy with that that's so beautiful okay and the last thing i got from pet plus is some hay 
Um, so I believe that hamsters don't really need hay in their diet, um, but it's really good to kind of um, build their burrows. And again, it just has, um, kind of provides more variety in the bedding. So it's kind of another in the bedding section. So that's a nice big bag. Um, so yeah, this looks really lovely. So I hope she'll like it. So that's all the things I got from Pets Plus. I did also get a cage from there, um, which came in its own big box. Um, so yeah, and I've just kind of put that together. So I will do um, another video all about the cage, all about how I put all these together and make the cage. So I've got a few other bits, um, which I got from Pets at Home, um, which is near me. Um, so it was really nice to kind of go in there and have a look um, and just basically see what they need. I have watched a lot of YouTube videos, um, especially Victoria Rachel. Um, I just think she's so good. Uh, she's basically where I've got a lot of my information from. I absolutely had no idea um, that kind of campsters need this care. I think it's definitely overlooked. You think they can just have a small cage and they'll be happy and you kind of just give them some pellets. Um, but yeah, I never knew all this stuff about um, hamsters, which what they need. So it's basically why I'm kind of doing this channel. So yeah, some of the other stuff I bought was these really cute willow sticks so cute so you get quite a lot in a pack um, and they like just nibble on these because obviously their teeth are continuously growing so um they always need something to kind of gnaw on to get to get their to get their teeth smaller um so yeah i'm thinking i could maybe make like a little teepee out of this a little home um so kind of if you put the sticks like this and then tie some rope even this rope will do i'm hoping i can kind of make a little diy teepee home um so i'll see how that goes um but yeah i really wanted some sticks um, and they weren't too expensive either. I think they're only £2.50, which I think is all right. Um, all right for this amount. I also got um, some of, I also got some recycled paper bedding. I'm not entirely sure about this because um, the other bedding I got is um, like paper bedding, I think. Yeah, the paper bedding, which I know is good for hamsters. Most sawdust isn't very good. You can get some kinds, but I'm definitely sticking with um, kind of paper for now and I got this because I thought it would provide a little bit more variety um, so I'm just going to have a little sand bath um, paper bedding and then this is kind of the recycled shredded paper um, so yeah I'm not entirely sure on this but I'll definitely see how it goes it's just a little small pack um, so I'll put it in um, yeah again this is really cheap um, it's quite a good option I got some other um, chew toys um, that the hamster can gnaw on and this is kind of like a boredom breaker kind of thing because you don't want your hamsters to be getting bored or gnawing at the cage or anything like that because that's quite a bad sign so I got these really cute um, wooden carrots um, I definitely wanted to get these um, and they've got a little screw on the top so they just screw to the side of the cage um, so they can just, it will stay still while they gnaw it so I think that'll be really cute and especially when I first get my hamster and she might obviously will be a bit shy um, I'll give her some time to settle in um, she might be able to come out and I'll see her gnaw at these so I thought that might be a good idea um, very cute another um, kind of wooden toy I got was this mushroom and I saw it and I just had to get it immediately because I just think it is the cutest thing ever and it's quite ni nice and big so I'll see how that goes I just love that um, oh yeah I did get this little chew toy which I've seen actually a lot of people are using and um, it's actually a dog chew but I know that it's safe for hamsters as well um so I'll again put a link in, in the description um so this is really nice and they come in lots of different colors um but I thought this was a really nice um like natural one so I went for this color which is really really cute um and obviously I know depending on the hamster some hamsters love to chew absolutely everything um so I guess I'll see um how far she gets through some of these okay I think in the oh yeah I've got another one <laughs> this is really cute this was just again um a really cheap I have found that um a lot although hamsters do are more money than you might think they are with a big cage and all the bedding and things like that um a lot of their little toys are quite cheap so I think this was just a pound um so I got this as well 
Oh, it's called a reed ball. So again, I think it's a different material. It's quite a soft one. Um, so yeah, that would be really cute. And I think it would be really interesting to kind of make one similar to this. So I know you can make your own board and breakers um, by kind of toilet tubes um, and then put a little treat inside and kind of wrap it around. So your hamster has to work for the treats. Um, and I think that kind of keeps them more interesting and less bored. Um, so I think that would be really interesting. So the last thing I got, which I was, I actually searched quite a long time for this because I really wanted, um, I think they're called, are they called springs? No. Um, I can't remember the word for them, but they're these. Okay. Um, so yeah, I was looking around uh, a while for them because they can be quite expensive uh, when you buy them online, but then I just found them in Pets at Home um, and it's Naturals Harvest Festival. Um, and they're herbs and grasses. Um, it says including dill, peppermint and flax. Um, so yeah, I think this is really nice um, to put in your hamster's cage and just um, kind of put around and it's really good for them foraging for their food. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to get these. I think these also look really beautiful um, in the cage. There is quite a lot of dust at the bottom, so I'm gonna have to be careful because even already stuff is falling out now. Um, so yeah, and that is all my purchases that I got so far. Um, I will, yeah, I will do another video, which I'm really excited about. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, I did, it's really weird. I'm not sure, because um, this is the first ever one. Um, but yeah, I hope I get a few views and I can kind of help out some people who are first time hamster owners or haven't had one in a long time uh, like me. So yeah, that's it. Uh, bye.